Yopstam wasn't supposed to be a footballer. He was born with a wooden spoon and grew up in a small town as a skinny teenager who wanted to become an electrician. But against all the odds, Stom somehow found a way to become the scariest defender in football history. But how did it happen? How did a poor teenager with no football background become a Premier League hero? This is the full story of Yap Stom. Yap Stom. Yap Stam added steel and strength to United's backline when he joined from PSV in 1998, and the fans took to him straight away. I think he's enjoying it, let me tell you. He doesn't seem to me like a guy who shucks a physical confrontation. Yap Stam was born on July 17, 1972, in a small country town called Kampen. Despite being only 50 miles east of Amsterdam, Kampen was light years away from the capital culturally. The area was known for being a little more religious, and growing up with three elder sisters, Stom found himself being grounded early on in life. His father was a carpenter who played some football at an amateur level, and with two football clubs that only played on Saturdays, Stom had some exposure that would ultimately spark a fire in him. Ya became a promising little midfielder, but was always the smallest boy in the team. As a result, he didn't think he would be a professional footballer for a long time, so he just did his thing whenever he got the chance to play. But at 16, something happened that would change his career forever. Stom suddenly hit an insane growth spurt and now towered over those bigger than him months earlier. At this point, he finally started considering becoming a professional footballer. 10 miles down the road was a professional football club called FC Zuele. Their manager invited Stom to join the club as an amateur. So essentially all Stom was thinking at this point was that he would probably get the shoes, clothes, and a couple of other things. It wasn't the worst thing in the world, but Stom turned down Zuela's manager because he thought it was too early for him. Stom spent the next couple of years studying to become an electrician and also did a lot of fishing in his free time. He wanted to enjoy his youth to the fullest, so he also spent time going out with friends on the weekends. Eventually, Stom joined Erste de Visi side Zuela at 20, a relatively old age for making your professional debut in football. After 32 appearances with the team, Stom looked to play football at an even higher level. So he signed up for Erste de Visi side Camber Luarden, but unbeknownst to him, they would get relegated that season. Still, the young defender put his nose to the grindstone and stayed with the club. The Dutchman's performances didn't go unnoticed. And after two seasons with Gamber, Willem Twe swooped in for his signature. Things were starting to look up at this point, and soon after half a season with his new club, Stom's big break came midway through the 1995 and 1996 season. The league's big boys PSV made an offer which literally no one could reject. And just like that, Stom won the KNBB Cup in his first season with PSV before winning the Eredivisie the following season. Having made a name for himself, Stom made his international debut for the Netherlands in April 1996, but the best was yet to come. In 1997, when Stom was already an established player at PSV, Sir Alex Ferguson approached him but was swiftly dismissed by Stom, as he stated in his autobiography. However, Ferguson knew what he wanted, so the following year he returned. This time, they made a rendezvous in a safe house near the Amsterdam airport, and Stom was sold on the idea of becoming a Red Devil. Having now made almost a century of appearances and scored a dozen goals as a center back for the Dutch Giants, PSV were not willing to let go easily. They valued their star at 15 million pounds, but Stom could care less. He was eager to leave the club for United, so he waived his right to 15% of the fee, and United ended up sealing a five-year contract worth 10.6 million pounds ahead of the 1998 and 1999 season. This made Jaap Stom the most expensive defender in history and everyone questioned Manchester United's decision to splash the cash. The word on the street is that Stom was so keen on switching to the English Premier League that his wife had the birth of their first daughter induced two weeks early so that she would be born between the Netherlands World Cup and United's preseason training camp. Regardless, Stom did have a difficult start at Manchester United, but not for long because he transformed his game. Here is what he said about his transition. I used to want to do too much. Now, marking your man and carrying out your task is the most important thing, and only then, if possible, is the need to do something extra with the ball. Stom's strength was his simplicity, win the ball and pass it forward and accurately. He always kept his man in front of him and never dived into a tackle. He never seemed out of form and was strong on the ground and in the air. A 6'3 bald beast of a man, 
Stom's physical appearance alone was intimidating for some players. On top of that, he had so much power in his legs and also had a fantastic mentality. His work ethic was there, and he just couldn't do anything wrong. They don't make defenders like Jav Stom anymore, do they? In his first season with the Red Devils, the club won the treble. The Premier League, the FA Cup, and the Champions League. Stom played every minute of the Champions League matches and was voted European Defender of the Year. Stom followed up the treble winning season with back-to-back -back Premier League titles for the next two seasons, also making the PFA Team of the Year. By 2001, Stom was widely considered the best defender in Europe, and there was no way of getting past him. Those chants of Yip Yap Stom was something no United fan would forget in a hurry. Yep, yep, On the international stage, Stom was a crucial part of the Netherlands side that reached the semi-finals at the 1998 World Cup in France and the Euro 2000, where he missed a crucial penalty as his nation lost to Italy. But after three extraordinary years at United, Sir Alex Ferguson made the biggest mistake of his career by letting Stom go. Ferguson felt that Stom was not the same player after suffering an Achilles injury, and Stom had also released a controversial autobiography which didn't go down well with the management. Stom revealed that Ferguson tapped him up at PSV and also encouraged players to die. Stom was sold to Lazio despite not wanting to leave United, but it wasn't all doom and gloom. Stom played some fine football in Italy, although he first had to navigate a four-month ban for testing positive for a steroid called Nandrolone. He did, however, win the Coppa Italia in his third and final season with Lazio before moving to Milan. Stom had already lost some of his pace by now, so he decided to retire from international football after the 2004 Euros. The Dutchman was part of the AC Milan side that lost that famous 2005 Champions League final to Liverpool in Istanbul. After 65 appearances for the club, Stom returned to the Eredivisie with Ajax, where he eventually hung up his boots in October 2007. Since then, Stom has taken to management, he acted as a scout for Man United in 2008 before becoming an assistant coach for Zuela the following year. Stom signed a three-year contract with Ajax in 2013 as an assistant coach and later became one of the new managers of Young Ajax. Now ready to become the main boss, Stom was the manager at championship side Reading from 2016 to 2018 before another short stint with Zwolle. Short stints at Feyenoord and Cincinnati followed before returning to his hometown to coach his local amateur club. But what a journey so far. If you ask the Dutchman as a teenager, he probably didn't see himself inspiring millions of people all over the world. He just wanted to become an electrician and company. Stom never wanted to be seen as a celebrity. He had his house on the edge of the town, loved fishing and doing the simple things in life, but ended up becoming the world's scariest defender. Reflecting on his career and trajectory to the top, Stom said that a late start was a good thing for him because many kids who start too early often get bored and fade off. For Stom, he did everything he wanted to do as a child, which was super important for his development. Stom's story is just another reminder of the endless possibilities that could happen in the world of football.